Y'all like that? Setting the mood this morning? Lil Mariah Carey? Back in the day? Back, back, back in the day. Back in the day, this song charted. I can't remember what the, uh, what was it? Record sales? <laughs> it began its four week run at number one. <laughs> I gotta make myself laugh sometimes. Hey, good morning, everybody. You guys have likely heard by now, uh, Beyonce, we switching from a ride carry to Beyonce. Well, the Queen Bee released uh, Blackest King on Disney Plus and the remakes, you know, they have just been delightful to watch like this one. Six year old Gray Evans loves to dance and here she is mimicking Queen Bee's moves for one of the videos in the Blackest King visual album. Now, Sonya been talking about how she wants to be, now, nah, honey, you gotta get up off oh, of that stool. I she been talking about how she wanted to be on MTV oh, years ago God. as a backup dancer. So right. you got your 15 seconds of fame, make it happen. This, I there like you how this girl was like, <laughs> she's like doing it. All right, that's all, that's all. <laughs> hey, that's all you get. She said, y'all can't have no more. Y'all gotta- even do like a full TikTok yeah. video. I'll help you with that. Y'all gonna have to run on her check if y'all wanna Producers, see some more moves. You're welcome. Here we go, you guys. Uh, if you're having a busy morning, like we have every morning here on Daybreak, and you need a quick break, here's one Instagram page that might make you smile. This is Milo, a two-year-old Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever from Burbank, California. He knows how to charm his way into everyone's hearts, and of course, you see him there looking good while doing so. So stop by, scroll a little, and you know, he might just make you smile this morning. All right, and we have to give a shout out to this local organization putting in work in our community. This is uh, MTO Dallas. They recently donated to 350 children uh, without a home and several organizations, including Parkland Hospital workers. The volunteers also supported graduate students in need at Southern Methodist, Methodist University's Perkins School of Theology with 10 large packages of food as well as essentials. A kiosk as well for entrepreneurs was also donated to Sulphur Springs' college and career readiness program in MTO's name. Sulphur Springs is back in uh, East Texas. Uh, all this to celebrate one of the holiest days on the Islamic calendar, Eid al-Adha, known to the Persian community as Aid Korban. You said that so well. I, I tried Aid Korban. Korban. Good for you. Okay, well, I'll and try. and uh, <laughs> you know, it's all in the in the sort of spirit of sacrifice. Yeah. You know, doing, and giving too. Yes, yes. giving and um, doing things for the community. So thank you to Miss Sohela who watches every morning and Yay. said we want to share this with y'all. I appreciate her for doing so. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully it was uh, satisfying with the little time that we do have this you morning. You did. You did it beautifully. Okay. Uh, all right. So